I'm Henry Jenkins. I'm 50 years old, and I'm excited by a cultural revolution that's taking place that's allowing everyday people to create and share media with each other. Uh, the technology is part of it, but the cultural shift has been more profound than the technological shift in a lot of ways. And uh, the technology is finally revealing to the world what we've known has gone on in people's garages and living rooms and family rooms and church basements for, for decades now. That everyday people are creating and expressing themselves in new ways and they're learning to collaborate with each other as they do so. What we know historically is that kids grow when they're given a sense of responsibility, when they're asked to exceed their own sense of their own limitations, and when they're allowed to pursue their passions and interests. And for those kids who will become leaders of guilds in World of Warcraft, that's as much an experience as being the captain of the football team, being the editor of the school newspaper, or being a blogger may be the same as the experience of being the editor of a school newspaper. Being a citizen leader in some online forum may be very much like being elected to the city, this, this school government. That these, we're, we're seeing the translation of these old practices, which we knew were valuable, into new spaces. And spaces which connect our kids, not just with people in their own community, but on a global scale. So that they will be citizens of the world in the next generation, because they're growing up connecting online with kids from all parts of the planet. And at that, learning that skill of being able to connect and collaborate with people who they don't see face to face takes on a new and importance in a network society. Just as being able to know the people in your own immediate town took on an importance when we're much more geographically rooted as a culture. And I think for most parents, the anxiety is really skin deep. They want to believe that this is an educational resource that's valuable to their kids. They want to see their kids as bright learners who are engaged in the world in creative ways. And they see that passion and enthusiasm the kid has for this stuff. But there's a level of fear because it wasn't part of the world of their own childhood. You know, when as parents, we fall back on what our parents said. And I know before I had been parents for two years, I'd said everything that my parents said that I swore I'd never say to my kids because our instincts is a trust our previous generation. And now we're in a space where the, we're dealing with stuff that our parents never had to deal with. And as parents, we really have to think of, or as educators, we really have to think about that in a new way. Well, we have to be open to the new. And we have to be open to information and, and you know, evidence about what this stuff is doing. And the evidence is suggesting that there's much more valuable stuff here than there's stuff that's risky. That, you, that certainly you be should, should be concerned with the risk. You should make reasonable assessments of risk and protect your kids from things that you don't think are going to be good for them. But you also have to find a way to allow them to connect with this new world, to discover their passions, to follow their interests, to glow, grow and learn in new ways. At the end of the day, they need us to be informed about this. You know, they, need, they don't need us snooping over their shoulders. They need us watching their backs. And I, in the same way that parents have gone to watch badly played Little League games and off-key band concerts for decades because it was important for their kids, they now need to watch kids play World of Warcraft and understand fan fiction and understand how Wikipedia works because it's important to their kids and their kids' accomplishment in that space is important to them and will be foundational for their sense of themselves and their sense of the world in the future. And as parents, we have to sit down with them. But we may have to accept the fact that our kids know more about this than we do. And we need to ask them questions. We need to have them teach us. We need to bring our values and morals into play as we talk to them about it. But we have to also recognize that they're going someplace that we never went. And that's what's exciting and what's terrifying about the present moment. For more information on what works in public education, go to edutopia.org.